a big hello to all of you and welcome to our channel. This is Dr. Rajkumar from Lifeline Hospitals. In today's edition, I'm going to be answering two important questions. One, what is laparoscopic surgery? And two, what are the various surgeries that you can do using the laparoscope? Let me start by saying that in the last 20 to 30 years, the entire revolution of laparoscopic surgery has spread across the planet Earth. Very few inventions or advances in technology in surgery have been taken up by the entire field of medicine and surgery like laparoscopic surgery. Indeed, it is fair to say that after anesthesia and asepsis or sterilization, laparoscopy is the greatest advancement in modern surgery. What does a laparoscope mean? Laparoscope literally means, scopy means peeking in, looking in, and lapro means the flank or the belly. Peeking into your belly is the meaning of laparoscopy. I'm going to quickly run you from head to foot and tell you what all you can do in, with a laparoscope. Now, in some areas of the body, we use the same laparoscopic equipment, but we pass it into the neck, we call it cervicoscopy, into the chest, we call it thoracoscopy, but they're all laparoscopic or endoscopic techniques. Start from above downwards. Sometimes, for example, we were one of the first uh, in the country to remove a thyroid gland by passing the laparoscope or endoscope from the armpit all the way up to remove the thyroid. You work your way down in the chest. There's a gland called the thymus gland that can be removed through the thoracoscope. We can remove bits and pieces of the lung we remove the gullet when the gullet gets malignant or cancerous. Come down to the abdomen laparoscopy and laparoscopy is truly remarkable what you can do from a hernia or an appendix or a uterus operation, an ovarian cyst operation, a family planning operation, the gallbladder which is established as a gold standard, a fundoplication or an anti-reflux procedure for heartburn, liver cancers, pancreatic cancers, removal of the spleen. I know I'm talking too fast, but I'm just trying to tell you that virtually any operation that can be done with the open knife and scissors and forceps can be done as efficiently, more efficaciously and for the patient much more painlessly than or shall we say much less painfully than that which can be achieved with a knife and scissors. Not only that, there are many areas that people were not venturing to earlier like obesity surgery and cancer surgery. As a laparoscopic surgeon, I personally have a bias towards these two areas, namely cancer surgery or what we call oncolaparoscopy and obesity or bariatric surgery because these two are the most challenging areas and technically confronting areas of laparoscopic surgery extensions of the laparoscope to every part of the body have been proved beyond doubt. For example, a lady has a family planning operation and then for whatever reason she wants to have another child. We can pass the laparoscope inside, go to the tubes, cut them open and rejoin them again and give her a chance to be a mother again. There is virtually no part of the body that the laparoscope cannot actually enter and do its job. As I always joke and say, Probably the only operation that you cannot do with a laparoscope is a cesarean section because you can't take out the baby and put it into a small tube and take it out. During the time that you are listening to me in these few minutes, one new advancement would have happened in laparoscopic surgery. As I speak to you, the 3D laparoscopic surgery where we wear glasses, robotic surgery, all these are on the rise. To learn more about these and to know more about more advances in surgery and medicine, please subscribe to our channel and allow us to entertain you and to keep you informed.